I can't see nothing, so I don't know if I'm on here. Greetings. Peace, 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 everyone. Greetings. I'm trying to find somewhere to, to prop up. Peace. I don't even know what time it is. Let me see what time is it. Where I'm at is 1020. So Grand Rising to the West Coast. Or whatnot. So I wanted to get on here because I didn't get to do my Born Day Chronicle yesterday. But I do have one for today. And I'm one day away from my actual Born Day. Um, there has been a repetitive lesson um, that seems to keep be, uh, being presented to me in the last week or so. And that's something that I speak on all the time about the importance of making time for yourself peace beloved um making time um for yourself so you can maintain uh which i talked about in the last three uh, last videos the three trinity in order for you to have my eye in your life and in your interactions and in your dealings with other people you have to maintain the, the trinity you have to maintain um order um how do you do that? You have to have time to pour into yourself. So all my mothers, or my women who, who take care of multiple people, make sure you are sketching out a time, whether it's in your day, whether it's in your week, make sure you are scheduling a time in your life that you can just be still. A time where you can reflect, a time where you can pour life into yourself. Um, make sure that you have time to, you know, really see what is needed. What is needed. <laughs> whether that's just sleep, whether that's food, whether that's some sort of nourishment. How are you pouring into yourself? How are you pouring into yourself? Because if you do not, this is when the chaos tends to happen. This is when the confusion or the imbalance starts to happen. When we are not taking time to do what we need to do for ourselves. When you start feeling like you're irritated, agitated, your temper is like this. Nine times out of ten, it's that reason that I just said. And I, I didn't understand it before when I was younger because we always in go mode when I was younger it was about securing the bag when I was younger it was like I don't have time to stumble step like I don't I can't stutter step because I'm in my feelings I can't stutter step because I got to do this this and this I can't do none of that I ain't got time to be in my feelings I only got time to move okay this should be something that I should be devastated about I remember in the middle of uh, my separation from my ex-husband, I was like already planning what needed to happen next. Not digesting the emotions, not sitting in what was happening, but actually what needs to happen next. And there was no time to process the emotion because in my mind I had already conditioned myself to believe if I give in to this emotion into this whirlwind it's gonna get me off track and i'm not gonna be able to provide for my babies i'm not gonna be able to walk the way i need to walk right now so i'm gonna go put this in this box and this is how we end up with all these suitcases bags <laughs> carry-on luggage in our closets because we start comp compartmentalizing these emotions and these dynamics and putting them up or we're not dealing with them I got time to deal with that. I got I got I got to hustle. I got to take care of these kids. I got to do whatever. I got to take care. I got I got to show up at work. But you do yourself a disservice by not dealing with that emotion, dealing with that feeling, dealing with that that residue of whatever that energy is because now it's sitting with you. And then you're taking it into either the next relationship, the next dynamic, whatever that is. And then when you do that, you're creating this energy, this frequency that sticks in your body. 
and now we got pain in our, our right shoulder and we don't know why now we got a dysfunction a digestive issue now we got something for my women now we got reproductive issues your womb ain't working your ovaries is jacked up because you holding on to frequencies that you didn't take time to deal with so be still figure out what it is that you need make sure you're creating that as a part of your day-to-day -day routine i cannot say enough how important it is for y'all to have a, a rising ritual and an evening ritual you should have something that you're doing every day when you get up that's going to center and ground yourself and get you back into your own perspective of what you need to do for your life and how you are healing the ones that are around you in your immediate circle and then you need to go to bed with that same thought process okay let me release anything that i picked up over the day let me release any need to hold on to anything that i picked up over the day let me actually get in the space that I'm being still. When you do that, then you're pouring into yourself. You're speaking life into yourself. And now you can show up fully for the ones that are around you. And that's the key. How can I show up for myself first? And then that trickles into a domino effect. If you don't, you're going to be ready to pull your hair out. You're going to be in a space of chaos and confusion. And that's not what we're supposed to be doing. That's not how you live your best life. That's not how you get in harmony. It's not how you get in harmony. It's not how you, you operate in my yacht. It's not. So, I, I look at this year as being the year as I go into my 44th year. Um of wholeness that's the card that I keep pulling I had another card and I'm going to make sure I post it I did a pull over the weekend and the, the card number that came out was 44 it was the last card in the deck and it completely embodied what I am embarking on but for you um in order to get to this wholeness, it's putting these pillars in place. It's putting these um, dynamics in place. When you start putting these things in place, building your structure, you know, you got to look at it like a building. How? What kind of foundation am I laying? So everything should be based off of that concept. Even your day. What foundation am I laying? Okay. What foundation am I laying for my day? And if you are the foundation of the day, you hear me? You are the foundation. What did I do to take care of this foundation? Did I get up and drink my water? Did I pray? Did I meditate? Did I pour libations for my ancestors to thank them for guiding me through this process, through this journey? Did I do some sacred stretching or movement? So I can make sure that my limbs and my vessel is operating in accordance to my myat for me. Did I visualize what I want to see happen? Did I actually see the day and how the day is going to present itself? Did I visualize it? Did I make sure that I created positive affirmations for me to operate in my higher self today? What are you putting in your ritual that is creating the maya or creating the balance or creating divine order for your life? That I allow myself to open up and receive whatever the universe has for me. What are you creating? All right. That's, I, I, I definitely know that it's been repeating, repeating, repeating in other people's pool and even in my own pools for a reason. Just so I could get um, the message. Make sure that in the midst of healing others that you are healing yourself. In the midst of doing for others that you are doing for yourself. That you pour life into yourself first. 
the more you pour life into yourself, the more that you create the balance and the order that you need for yourself, the higher I can show up for everyone else, the better I can show up for everyone else. All right. So I'm out here with my babies. Look, my daughter and my, my new, my daughter-to-be, I'm out here with them. And uh, when I finish, I will, I guess, be doing some mommy stuff and trying to help them get some stuff together for their new home or whatnot. So I'm, I'm, I'm here enjoying the space. So I will talk to y'all later. I love you guys. I will. Your henna is dope. Straight from my yes, yeah, straight from the A. House of henna. <laughs> oh, and then my rings. Steph, you need to send me what Baba um information is. What is Baba's information? So I can post um my rings. Y'all see my my eye. And his son did my Kari shell ring. <laughs> all right i will um check back in with y'all later i love you guys so well that y'all have an amazing day i'm assuming that we ready we ready oh, yeah. for the next phase what's our next phase um, you don't yes, know probably it's not look that's my firstborn, and this is my new daughter. Hi. <laughs> my new daughter. So I will see y'all later. I will be back probably tomorrow on my born day. And all that good stuff. All right. Peace. Why do you not know where we're going?